there are three ways to represent a finite automata this is the first way to represent a finite automata this is represented using a transition function now this is the example so the set of states are q0 q1 q2 there are two inputs 0 and 1 there is one initial state and there is one final state now this is a very cumbersome way to represent finite automata all the transitions since each transition is represented in its own line so first is that on q0 q0 is the state if the input is 0 then go to q1 on q0 if it is 1 then go to q0 on q1 if the input is 0 go to q0 on q1 if the input is 1 go to q2 and on q2 if the input is 0 go to q2 on q2 if the input is 1 go to q2 there are other ways to represent a finite automata the second way is to represent using a transition diagram which we use mostly now in transition diagram we'll draw a diagram of all these transitions so we'll draw q0 q1 and q2 the initial state which it says is q0 will be represented by a small arrow the final state q2 will be represented by a concentric circle now the first it says if on q0 the input is 0 go to q1 so if the input is 0 we'll go to q1 second it says on q0 if the input is 1 then go to q0 which means a self loop then on q1 if the input is 0 go to q0 which means if there is a zero transition we we'll return back to q0 and if the input is 1 then go to q2 on q2 if the input is 0 remain and if the input is 1 then also remain we can write this like this all the transitions are in self loop so this is the second way to represent a finite automata which is using transition diagram or sometimes known as state diagram there is one other way to represent so on transition table we we'll first one side will write all the states and the other side all the inputs so all the states are q0 q1 and q2 all the inputs are 0 and 1 now since q0 is initial state we will represent it by a small arrow q2 is final state we will represent by a circle on q0 if a 0 comes then we will go to q1 and on q0 if a 1 comes then we go to q0 for q1 if 0 comes we will go to q0 if 1 comes we will go to q2 on q2 for both transitions we will remain on q2 this is a transition table now these are three different ways using a transition function using a transition diagram or state diagram and using a transition table or state table now we can convert each of them into one another if we have either one of these we have all of these generally we'll be using either the diagrams or the tables this is rarely used since it is so cumbersome and these are very easy to understand and this is very easy to operate on thank you I think the girls with their nails done now.